Okay class, today we're in section 3.5, graph using slope intercept form. 3.5, graph using slope intercept form. Before, you found slopes and graph equations using intercepts. Now, you will graph linear equation using slope intercept form. Key vocabulary, slope intercept form, parallel. Key concept, finding the slope and y-intercept of a line. Words. A linear equation of the form y equals mx plus b is written in slope intercept form, where m is the slope and b is the y intercept of the equation's graph. Symbols. y equals mx plus b. y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y intercept. So in this equation, y equals one third x plus one. One third is your slope. The y intercept is one. On the graph, your y intercept is located right here. And don't forget that's the value of one. And when does the y intercept occur? When x is zero. So this is the point zero one. And the slope one third that would be counted. You go up one over three. Rise is one and the run is three. Rise, run. Rise one and the run is three. One, two, three. And notice you don't start counting the slope until you start counting from the y-intercept. So what you would do is you would graph the y-intercept first and then you would start counting your slope. Graph the y-intercept first, then you count the rise and the run. Rise and the run. Example 1. Identify slope and y-intercept. Identify the slope and y-intercept of a line with the given equation. A y is equal to 3x plus 4 and b 3x plus y is equal to 2. Solution. The equation the equation is in the form y equals mx plus b so the slope of the line is 3 and the y-intercept is 4. Alright so what they're telling you for equation a is that it's already in slope intercept form. Why? So the y's matches up, that 3 matches up with the m, the x's match up, and the 4 match up with the b. So the slope is m, that's 3, or 3 over 1, and the y-intercept is b. Alright now for equation b, 3x plus y is equal to 2, you must rewrite the equation in slope-intercept form by solving for y. Rewrite the equation in slope-intercept form by solving for y. So you got 3x plus y is equal to 2. You turn to solve for y. That means you got to get rid of that 3x. And the way you do that is you subtract 3x from each side. So here you're going to say minus 3x. Here minus 3x. After doing so, you end up with y is equal to a negative 3x plus 2. Now once you do that, now it's in y equals mx plus b form. Once again, y equals mx plus b. So the line has a slope of negative 3, that's the m, and a y-intercept of 2, that's the b. All right, for those of us who need to see it more explicitly, y goes with the y. The negative 3 goes with the m. Don't forget the m is a slope. And the 2 goes with the b. So that's our y-intercept. All right, now for those of us who have issues, to solve for y, we've got to put it in y equals mx plus b form. If I want this y to be by itself, that means that 3x got to disappear. This says a positive 3x, so I'm going to say a minus 3x here, and a minus 3x here. Draw my horizontal line, 3x minus 3x, that's gone, 
so I get y is equal to and I'm left with 2 minus 3x 2 minus 3x these terms are not alike so they cannot be combined in any way adding or subtracting so therefore all I can do is represent them so I'm going to put them in x term first because I know it has to be in y equals mx plus b form and the 2 the positive 2 will be last so once again y equals m x plus b my m is a negative 3 and my b is a 2 so my slope is a negative 3 and my y intercept is 2 example 2 graph an equation using slope intercept form graph an equation using slope intercept form alright step 1 rewrite the equation in slope intercept form alright here's my original equation 2x plus y is equal to 3 I want to get y by itself and I want to put it in y equals mx plus b form that means I want the x term to come first so I want to get the y by itself so I want to get rid of this 2x this is a positive 2x so underneath it I'm going to put a negative 2x and when I do the one side I do to the other side so negative 2x negative 2x that cancels out I'm left with y now I got 3 minus 2x these terms are not alike they cannot be added or subtracted so all I can do is represent them with the understanding that the x term should come first so I'll write a negative 2x and that's going to be plus 3 negative 2x plus 3 now that's my equation in, in slope intercept form y equals a negative 2x plus 3 step 2 identify the slope and the y intercept the slope is negative 2 the y intercept is 3 so m is equal to negative 2 and b is equal to 3 step 3 plot the point that corresponds to the y intercept so in other words we must plot the y intercept first plot the y intercept first now the y intercept is going to be 3 that means when x is 0 y is 3 so that's what we plotted first right there okay now after we plot the y intercept the next thing we do is we use the slope to locate a second point on a line and then we draw a line through the two points so our y intercept is there in green x is 0 y is 3 the slope we said was a negative 2 don't forget slope slope is equal to the rise over the run and in this case our rise is 3 and whoop I got that wrong let me back that up alright in this case our rise is a negative 2 and our run is 1 don't forget now the slope can be expressed as a negative 2 over 1 so that means that the 2 that's going to be my y value I'm counting and the 1 is my x value that I'm counting so I start from my intercept the y value is a negative 2 so that means I go down to 1 and the run is a positive one that means I go over one boom that's my next point then I draw my line alright let's look at it one more time my y-intercept was three that's that point right there now once I graph my y-intercept then I start counting my slope my slope was a negative two over one the two is the rise that's the y and the one is the run so the two is a negative so negative on the y-axis means I go down 2 1, 2 and then my run is a positive 1 so I go over 1 so now I have my two points and then I draw my line and I've graphed y was equal to a negative 2x plus 3 example 3 change slope of lines example 3 change slope of lines escalators to get from one floor to another at a library you can take either the stairs or the escalator 
you can climb stairs at a rate of 1.75 feet per second and the escalator rises at a rate of 2 feet per second. You have to travel a vertical distance of 28 feet. The equations model the vertical distance d in feet you have left to travel after t seconds. Stairs. Its equation is d is equal to a negative 1.75 times t plus 28. Escalator. Its equation is d is equal to a negative 2 times t plus 28. A. Graph the equations in the same coordinate plane. B. How much time do you save by taking the escalator? Now, don't forget as we're explaining this that D, that's like saying that's your Y, and T is your X. D is like saying that's your Y, and T is your X. So, notice right here, this is D, and this is T. Why? Because D is dependent upon T. So, D is the dependent variable and t is the independent variable. Solution A. Draw the graph of d equals a negative 1.75t plus 28 using the fact that the d intercept is 28 and the slope is a negative 1.75. Similarly, draw the graph of d is equal to a negative 2t plus 28. The graphs make sense only in the first quadrant. B. The equation D is equal to a negative 1.75T plus 28 has a T intercept of 16. The equation D is equal to a negative 2T plus 28 has a T intercept of 14. So, you save 16 minus 14 that, is, that equals to 2 seconds by taking the escalator. Alright, now for those of us who are concerned or confused on how they came out with 16 and 14, right? Remember now we're trying to find a t-intercept. So the t-intercept is really the x-intercept. Now when does the x-intercept occur? When the d or the y-intercept is zero. So look up here. This is a repeat lesson that we've had earlier in the chapter. So we got D is equal to a negative 1.75T plus 28. So I set D equal to 0. Now I have 0 is equal to a negative 1.75T plus 28. I'm solving for T. I got multiplication and addition. I work with the addition first. So that's going to be minus 28 minus 28. 0 minus 28 is a negative 28. This is gone. So now I'm left with a negative 1.75t. Divide both sides by 1.75 by, excuse me, by a negative 1.75 by a negative 1.75. A negative divided by a negative is a positive and 28 divided by 1.75 is 16. So t, so t is 16. Then I come back and I do the exact same thing here with this d. So d is 0. 28 goes to the other side. So that ends up being a negative 28. And then I divide both sides by a negative 2. So I end up with a negative 28 divided by a negative 2, which is going to end up being a positive 14. Okay, for those of us who need to see that visually, we set D equal to 0. We subtract 28 from both sides. After doing so, we end up with a negative 28 is equal to a negative 2T. We divide by a negative 2, divide by a negative 2 on both sides. A negative 28 divided by 2 is a positive 14. And of course, a negative 2 divided by a negative 2 is a positive 1, so we're left with just 1t.